Hi. Hi, my name is Sherry from Salit. And uh, you're doing uh, stuff that has to do with smart glass? Yeah, so, so what, what do we see here? Yeah, we are making a waveguide. So this is the lens part of the smart glasses like this. So what's special about your waveguide? So we have glass version and a plastic version. So, so we um, have glass waveguide, plastic waveguide. Oh. And uh, they have a good uh, efficiency? Uh, yes, like performance is really good. And then actually we won the display component of the ear with this plastic G1. So we right. can, yeah, we can, so in the glass version, we can achieve f 60, which is really wide. And for plastic waveguide, so it has only f 30, but like the weight is really light. How, how, well, how light? Oh, so, three grams. Yeah. Whoa, that's so really you, low. So, so you can actually feel it. What is this? So this is actual product. So this one is a plastic. This one is a glass version. So where does a where does a, a projection come in? Here. So what is this technology for the projection? So any kind of projector is okay. So now we are using DLP, LCOS, LBS, and microD. DLP projection, LCOS, micro LED, LED, LED and uh, LBS. LBS. Yeah, laser wave scanning. All right. Which one is best? Oh, uh, I don't really say like which one is best because like it has advantage and disadvantage like each projector has from the con. And um, is there a lot of competitors in the waveguide business? Yeah, Are not, you the best? <laughs> not a lot, but there are some competitors in the market. And we said like, you know, the waveguide, sorry, the FOB itself is really good in our waveguide. And uh, the idea is that these kind of things should be sell, sold in the millions, right? Should be big quantities. How soon? Uh, it's going to be in one year. In one year, there's going to be huge quantity? Yeah, mass production will start. 10 millions? Yeah, we would say that. Maybe. It's very important to have good optics, to have a good system so, uh, so it's clear. You don't get the nausea. It needs to be sharp. Mm -hmm. Is it part of the waveguide, this design? Yes, so um, the image quality is really important. Yeah. Sorry? No, just to help you to move it around. Okay. Image quality is very image important. Image quality is really important. And then you will see the image quality of this waveguide is really cool. Like MTF. Do you think AR is better than VR? It's completely different technology, I feel. So VR is for like entertaining. Or, you know, use case is completely different from AR. So what we are doing right now is, yeah, we want to make the ordinary glasses just like this. So this is just concept model. But, so this is the glass that we want to make in the future. So in order to make this stylish, like normal eyewear glasses, we have to have the waveguide because it's transparent, thin, light. Um. How wide can it can it be in the future? Wide means how? What's the widest uh, field of view potentially in the field future? View? Right now, sixty. Yeah. Is it possible now, to do more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are actually working on like wider FOB, even wider FOB. Like 180? Not that much. <laughs> 90 maybe. We'll see. Or something like that. Yeah. All right. And where are you based? Tokyo. Tokyo. Japan. This is the compact. Can I film this? Sure. Yeah. So people can contact right here. Um, in Japan, there's, um, I don't know why, but all the cameras are, in Japan, there's like some knowledge about optics there in Japan. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's come to here. So, so is some people, some, some of the people working on this in the company, they have uh, experience with the optics? Yes. For Actually. Cameras and yeah, stuff? Yeah, camera. Mm -hmm. Panasonic or yeah, Canon Nikon or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, cool. a lot of advisors are coming from that kind of you know, optics company.